Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Um, <clears throat> I'm still not feeling the greatest, but I'm going to continue on with our lessons from Timeline. And um, we are... No, there's no COVID in this house. But, um, it's been weird. There's a quarter know. left of this book. And what happened was the the chemicals spread all the way to Canada from all, the Ohio oh, derailment. The spread all the way to Canada. So it so, so it had to have spread here too. I believe I have about three more lessons in this book, and then I will be opening the other books, and I will uh, I'll either come on and let you guys decide which one you want me to start with, or I'll just I'll I'll pick one, um, and I'll just. I'll just read whichever lessons that I think you guys will haven't really heard much from yet. <clears throat> okay. Um, we left off with Hebrew, Greek, or Latin in the timeline series. If the Nazarene did not write in their own language, but used a foreign language, why does Luke record that Yahushua spoke to Shaul or Paul in Hebrew? See Acts 26.14. The dragon has had many centuries to alter teachings, invent sacraments, fake names, and solidify a teaching authority that changed the day of rest on a different day. Built towers with bells to call the deceived to a morning ritual based on Passover, calling it supper at daybreak. Yahuwah did not order these things to be done, but men wanting to control and take the vineyards for themselves. Obedience pleases Yahuwah, and disobedience taught by men is our problem. Empty philosophies of men have deceived almost everyone. Colossians 2.8 The thing we need to find out about is New Jersey. They said something happened in Jersey. We are connected to Jersey. Huh? Something happened in Jersey. That's what we have to find out what oh, happened. No, New Jersey. I, I'm kind of confused. It's because I know the Canadian thing. We live right here. Ohio's River. Ohio River goes right into the Mississippi. So then it goes into the Mississippi. We connect up. Um, We're connected Ohio. to Pennsylvania. Ohio, Ohio, there's a little piece that's in between yeah. us and Ohio. It's barely a piece of land there's that water. separates us. Yeah, there's some water right there. And the water connects to the to the Saint Lawrence. I want to say that for the it's either the Saint Lawrence. I don't. Know. I think they all connect. The Mississippi to the Saint Lawrence. Yeah, the ones, all the rivers that are up here. Uh, I'll have to look up a map. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Empty philosophies of men. We forgot to look for another Timberland wallet at Shooty book. Um, empty philosophies of men have deceived almost everyone, but that was the one Grandma got you yeah, before she died. So, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. Colossians two eight. Okay, Nazarim lived by every word of Yahuwah. Just the Not, that she gets, and it does get ruined at one replacement. I know. <laughs> like the identical thing. Yeah. Know, so then like we did. We there. tried to do with my phone. Huh? Like we tried to do with my phone. Yeah, yeah. and they didn't. Have, they had the paper, but they didn't have the phone. Yeah. How do you have the paper and the phone? Yeah. Not an authoritarian pattern of sun worship handed down from the circus fathers' traditions. Alexandria and Rome are the origins of everything seen and practiced by Yahusha, but Yahusha has taught us to avoid the changes and listen only to our shepherd's voice. Only to Yahusha's voice. The name J E S U S, or fake name Jesus, less than 500 years old. The phonology most recent, recent is relied on, being less than 500 years old, with added letters non-existent in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin at this point, since the Hebrew letters of the name are dismissed as unpronounceable by the Pope or ignorance, consider the points made in the YouTube video that addresses these very points. And I will leave it in the description box under this title. Um, I always put a title page in my description box for you guys. <clears throat> um, the Ibarit's words are often misunderstood when applied by the definitions found in concordances. We have, we have to look at the context a word is used to reveal a word's meaning. Um, 
Teachers often mistake the meaning by applying the word the wrong definition of a Hebrew or Iberith word. The word may have the exact spelling and sound, yet mean profoundly different meanings. Pitcher is a word Lou uses as an example. A pitcher is a person who throws a ball in a game. The same letters and sound produce another meaning when used in a sentence such as the pitcher of tea is now empty. Baseball players don't throw tea bags. <laughs> Look up words that you find having more than one meaning. Sorry. It's okay, baby. I'm sorry, I throw a tea bag. <laughs> um, find a tea bag. Yeah. Look up words that you find having more than one meaning by seeing how they look and sound in an interlinear Hebrew-English study like this one at biblehub.com slash interlinear. I'll leave that in, in my link um, in my description box too. Phonology arguments on the rise. Phonology is the study of how a word is sounded using the letters or script of another language with the goal being to retain the same sound of the word. This can be done in a variety of ways, but the simplest spelling would be best for everyone. There is no W or V in ancient Hebrew. Yet we often see these letters appearing when words such as Yehovah or Yahawa are spoken or spelled. Like uh, Y-A-H-A-W-H-A or A-H. Okay, your I've seen it spelled that way. I've seen it spelled Yahawashai um, also. Um, okay. Iberit or Hebrew nouns and pronouns often are used as names. <clears throat> the roots are either gender neutral or fender or sorry, fender feminine gender. <laughs> um Although the majority of Ibarit nouns are feminine gender, they do not mean the object or the person is a, fe is a female or a male. <clears throat> a tau or hey at the end is normally a feminine gender word. Abraham's father, Terah, was not a female. Um, many names are general gender neutral, using words like Caleb or Zev, which means dog or wolf. The, there are many teachers on the internet, but they are not always correct. You have to have discernment. And you have to, if you don't understand something, you have to search it out and make sure that um, they're teaching you the right thing or the right meaning. Yahuwah or Yahuwah with the E-H at the end. The E-H ending versus A, 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 or A, H, sorry ending does not change the reality that the root word is it has been dissected from a feminine gender <clears throat> the source of the eh is the invented vowel points bella your fans want to see you yes they do can you look at the camera yeah it's stupid <laughs> The root word it has been just dissected from is a feminine gender. Um, what he was just talking about is the same problem we had last month. It wasn't so bad this month, but it happened twice last month. This month, or last month when I had to do videos whispering. But this month, the landlord, not the landlord, the landlord's um, daughter's son's father is the new neighbor next door. And he always causes a problem with my husband or starts yelling at my husband for no reason in the hallway. He even tried to break in our door one day. It's just insane. And he called the cops on my husband one day. It was ridiculous. And he was like, she's in there. She's in there. And we didn't know there was still an order from years back. Probably six years back or so. Five, or four years back. And we didn't know about it. We thought we were, we were safe. We've been living happy lives for eight, nine months now um, since family court has ended, even though they still took our children. But this man, just I'm praising you who that he didn't call the cops again this month. But it's been an issue, a very big issue. 
I believe he has some demons to deal with himself. And he seems to be the type that stays up all night like like a crack that's wood. <laughs> so I don't want to falsely judge anyone. But from what we've seen, I'm righteously judging because of what I have seen and heard. I keep helping. And he still helps the guy, even though he keeps doing this stuff. <laughs> the source of the e I'm sorry, we'll get back to the, to the lesson here. <laughs> okay. The source of the EH is the invented vowel points. 8th century CE and after, which do not appear in any of the DSS, so they are irrelevant. If someone is teaching the EH ending of a person's name, making them a male... They need to look again at the root. <coughs> Micah is a feminine gender, word, but it doesn't mean the person is a male or female. <coughs> Sorry. Tara is a female, feminine gender also. Transliterating, later, transliterating it with the letters Tere doesn't change doesn't change the sound, and it's still feminine gender. So Tara with an E-H sounds the same as Tara with an A-H at the end. Um, phonology is easier if the vowel points are ignored. Then the letters hey, can be more stop. accurately sounded when brought way. over into other scriptures. Yahusha reveals to those he indwells what is true and what is untrue. The word scripture of truth is seen as evil when obeyed today. Just as Peter or Kepha told us they would be at 2 Peter 2.2. 2. The word of truth is malign and those obeying it are considered to be heretics by every teaching authority on the planet. If the Ten Commandments are evil, then mankind is truly doomed. They teach only how to love Yahuwah and how to love our neighbor. We must love our neighbors. Even if they can be kind of mean sometimes um, the word of truth is maligned and those obeying it are considered to be heretics by every teaching authority on the planet if a lot of people if a lot more people knew about this huh? oh, that's stupid Roscoe yeah. Well, he always is like, he thinks it's a peace offering when you do that. <laughs> well, if he keeps doing it, it's just, this. Yeah. It's futile. <laughs> yeah. He might stop, yeah. I know. Okay, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry <right>. about that. <laughs> okay. Yahusha reveals to those he indwells with the Ruach HaKadosh what is true and what is untrue. Gives us spiritual discernment. The word scripture of truth as seen is seen as evil when obeyed today. Just as Peter or Kepha told us they would be at 2 Peter 2.2. 2. Sorry, I read that part. The word of truth is... Okay, I read that part too. Okay. If the Ten Commandments are evil, then mankind is, tr is truly doomed. They teach only to, how to, only how to love Yahuwah and love your neighbor. Um, they are now shunned and those guarding them are considered heretics because they love and obey them. I will take my chances by choosing to obey them and shun the teachers who say otherwise. They would shun us while hoping they will change and obey them as well. Like, I don't understand why he doesn't give up. Like, he's not, he, like, at first he was just giving, giving back the stuff that he, the neighbor gave him because the neighbor was not acting very appropriately towards him. And especially in the morning times when he's just got up and to take the dogs out and he's not stomping. He, he has to get the snow off his boots before he comes up the stairs but, to come up, up into here. But that was an issue yesterday. <clears throat> I'm sorry that I'm bringing my daily life into this. But 
I don't know. Maybe it'll help you guys get to know me a little better. <laughs> okay. You are the Nazarene. Yehukanen, John 15, 4 through 5. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of it itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the Nazarene. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Yahusha does not guide us to abide in false practices, annulling his commandments to practice traditions through seducing spirits or men's philosophies. Sunday morning supper doctrine of demons is what that is. Oh, great. The alarm. Hold on. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Um, I had to pause for a little bit. Um, I, my alarm went off and it was for my state of survival game. But um, I'm having connection issues with my state of survival game and my tablet. So I can't even sign back into my game. Anyways, um, I can't sign back into my game, but I'm doing my video right now. Um, so, yeah, look at what does it say? And contact support or reconnect. And then a red thing goes up in the middle. Great, now our dogs are getting sick. Yeah, Russell, stop. She did. She puked. And I thought I smelled a weird smell on my dog last night and I woke up with a sore throat. <laughs> we don't we can't confirm or say it came this way, but if anybody's smart enough, chemicals go through the air and, and the soil very, and the atmosphere through climate. It, they go through the rain, go, it, spread it, through the wind. White stuff <laughs> went up, like it was snow. White stuff fell, and then it just disappeared. It stopped, but it sat on top of the snow. It didn't melt, and then it started snowing, so it's underneath the snow. Oh, wow. The computer. Uh, Everything went off. Well, the, uh, my video is Why is that red? My, that's red. I don't know what's wrong. <clears throat> okay. I don't think I need the internet to make my videos. So I think that's why this is still working. I don't know, babe. Um, Yahusha does not guide us to abide in false practices. No, nothing's working. This is working. So, uh, look. No. That, why is that red? Is it supposed to be red? No, it's supposed to be blue. Yeah, it's blue. It's, it's on and off red. Okay, I will start the back. Phone's with the phone. We can't. The phone's not working. Yeah, hold on one second. So anyways, I apologize for any any um, interruptions here, but... It's restarting? Um, the only thing that's going on yeah, is no, the thing's I know, still the red. The thing shut down, yes. huh? Yes. That's red still. Yeah. So we need a call. Oh, Abide Roscoe, in down! Me and I and you, it's as the red. branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. This I am the vine, to be red. you are the Nazarene. This is supposed to be blue, right? He, yes. He who then abides in me wrong. and I in him bears much fruit. No <clears throat> For without me, you can do nothing. Yahushua does not guide us to abide in false practices, annulling his commandments to practice traditions through seducing spirits of men's philosophies or traditions, Sunday morning right, supper, got doctrine of demons, we steeples, no forbidden no, ob no, objects, Leviticus 26. Stop, Roscoe, leave um, alone. Roscoe, leave alone. Speaking to <laughs> dead intercessors, <laughs> necromancy, okay, stop. Okay, touching stop. and eating dead on clean animals, special days, you birthday, sun, Valentine's, Eggs, rabbit yeah, hunts, blue, yeah. Christmas, solar birth, Sit. Halloween, stop. dead saints. Uh, um, Roscoe, adopted days from outside of scripture, Sorry, sacraments, divination, manipulation of forces, and more. Roscoe, Go teach to all the nations the name and to obey all the things Yahusha commanded us to obey. No, no, Immersing them in the name of Yahusha means I am your deliverer. Call on his real name. Be sealed as his property. I am Yahuwah, there is no other. Yahusha will not share his esteem with another. On, his yes, name stop. is being restored in right. spite of the errors okay. inherited oh. from See, their from from our fathers. Google the term Christograms. Encoded words used by mystagogues to conceal the names of their deities. Belbina, I'll get you. Stop chewing on that. Um 
um, to conceal the names of their deities, just like the pagans. Um, there were one, there was one name, Jesus, born in Bethlehem, but rather Yahushua, yod hey ush in And an identity thief has substituted the name of our deliverer with another name. The footnotes of faulty translations say, Jesus means the L-O-R-D of salvation. They had to get this idea from the real Hebrew name Yahusha, but left the Yah, giving Baal, L-O-R-D, the credit. Um, I watched one of Lou's videos the other day, and he was saying that if you say Jesus, it's it's a name that was made up anyway, so it's not it's not like we're like we're uh, saying anything against our creator because our creator is Yahuwah Yahusha. Um, one second. I don't know why. I really don't know why dogs li like to chew on wood. Why do you like to chew on wood so much, huh? You can't chew on the gate. She pulls the towel down so she can chew on the wood. Yeah, bad Bella. Bad Bella Bean. Okay. I'm sorry I've had so many interruption, uh, interruptions today. But, um... Yahushua... Okay. Sorry. Okay. The next section is... A mount, at, at Mount Carmel, they swayed between two opinions. Stop licking the book, Bean! More wood, right? <laughs> Bella, stop. Please. Please. Um, Acts 4.12 tells us there is only one name. And calling on a man-made name didn't help the priests of Baal at Mount Carmel. The translators changed the name back to Baal, B-E-L or B-A-A-L, meaning L-O-R-D. Have you read the preface of your translation? We cannot continue being criminals only because we've been told the law has been eliminated. Because that's the lie. What ended was the need for animal blood. And that priesthood, see Deuteronomy 31.26 and Hebrews 8.13, our only deliverer is Yahusha, the name above all names. Our only deliverer is Yahusha, the name above all names. And I'm sorry I read that last sentence. Um, I just was rereading it to make sure it was in there because I had to pause it again. Um, sometimes people misunderstand when we tell them the word J-E-S-U-S -S is a very recently invented word. Although we are talking about the same person, we are calling that person by different names because the real name was altered, butchered. The Fiscus Judaicus, a tax levied on Yahudim, caused followers of Yahushua to change words as well as their behavior to match the practices of contemporary pagan culture around them. The oldest Greek texts date to the 300s CE. The Dead Sea Scrolls discovered in 1947 revealed a copy of the Hebrew Matiyahu, the Jesuit-led scroll team, did everything possible to keep control over whatever threatened the RCC. And the real name would certainly be at the top of their list of scary things. The name was the reason the scrolls were even there. The existence of the Hebrew Matiyahu scroll and the Jesuit priest who had finished a concordance of each word in it was reported in an article published in the Biblical Archaeological Review back in the early 1980s. People cover up their own identity by using fake names to write under. The word Shakespeare, a pen name, is widely known to be a fake name in the, lit in the literary world. The word J-E-S-U-S -S is equally fake along with I-S-A, I-E-S-V, I-C-X-C, and I-H-S. The first three letters in I-H Seuss. All of these are cryptonyms used to encode the identity of Yahushua HaMashiach. Mystagogues still walk among us, guiding initiates into ever-increasing shades of darkness. The next section is, the tr or, truth is reality, tradition is fantasy. 
A truth's initial promotion is directly proportional to how deeply the lie was believed. It wasn't the world being round that agitated people, but that the world wasn't flat. When a well-packaged web of lies has been sold gradually to the masses over generations, the truth will seem utterly preposterous. Just Rask, are you okay? And its speaker, a raving Sorry. lunatic by I'm Dresden sure. James. No, Virginia, the earth isn't flat. That's the teaching of Islam and the RCC. And there's a link for that, and I'll put that in the description that box. Works. So fossilizedcustoms.com slash flat earth um, Hieroglyphic Hyksos hoax, or Hyksos hoax. Source, a chart, not the real word. The internet Hyksos hoax. <sighs> The four characters people are sending around the internet are hieroglyphics and have never been found in this arrangement anywhere in archaeology. Three of the symbols are not the Hebrew script at all. Um, no object has ever been found spelling the name as we see it displayed all over the internet. The true origin of these characters, but not arranged like this, is the Serabit ha Karim, near a temple of Hathor, near an ancient turquoise mine in the Sinai Peninsula. There's another um, another uh, link I'll put in the description box. The truth Iberit, or Hebrew script for the name of Yahuwah, is easily proven by archaeology. The first to state his case seems right until another comes and questions him. Proverbs 18.17 Iberit script written left or right to left. No spaces between words. yod he uah -he is found within this text right here, written on this stone. It's kind of hard to see on the screen. If you have the book, it's on page 83. Nazarim unrelated to Nazi or Nazir. Nazir? I don't know. There's no association. Nazir. Yeah. <laughs> And there's no association between there's the word no, not here, here. Nazarim and Nazi, in case anyone is wondering. It's okay. The word Nazi is the term for a party member of the National so Socialism, or National Socialists, a.k.a. or a.k.a. NSDAP, or NSDAP. The Nationalist Socialist German Workers' Party. Nationalist Socialistische Deutsche Arbeiterpartei, abbreviated NSDAP, also known as the Nazi Party, was a German political party. The word Nazir, separated one, separated one is what that means as in the oath of a Nazir, is a completely different word as well. Nazir is spelled with a Zayin, not a Sadi. See link for more. And I'll put that in the description. Nazarim are the first followers of Yahusha. He said, I am the vine, you are the Nazarim. In his language at the time, the Iberi or Hebrew would have sounded, Ani hagafen ataha Nazarim. And um, there's another link I will post. Um, identify a tree by the fruit it grows. The Nazi party during Hitler's time had Roman Catholic Jesuits at the head of every department of the regime. The same anti-Yahusha spirits that killed 83 million people over 600 years via the Inquisition was the same spiritual forces driving the Nazi regime. And these are currently driving those in what is called ISIS, which is another government-made um, uh, false flag type of group. Those same seducing spirits re revealed themselves reveal themselves in those who behave with hatred, malicious witnessing, lying, slandering, idolatry, debauchery, bursts of rage, strife, selfishness, envy, drunkenness, drug abuse and much more behavior Yahusha would not condone. 
Our characters should always exhibit Yahusha in our every word and activity. His spirit in a person produces good fruit, not thistles and thorns. May the words of my mouth and the meditation in my heart be pleasing in your sight, Yahuwah, my rock and my redeemer. Psalm fourteen nineteen. The next uh, part of the lesson is Yahusha or Yeshua ratio. 216 to 1. Study or stay deceived. Yeshua, Yod Shin Ua Ua Ayan, <coughs> is the diminutive form for Yahusha, Yod He Ua Shin Ayan, verified at Numbers 13 16. It is only found once in Scripture. The diminutive form is called a hypocharisma. <coughs> there are many examples such as Mike or Mick based on the name Michael, 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 or Michael. See Numbers 13.8. Husha, son of Nun, is the original name of the man Musha, or Moshe, Moses, called Yahusha by adding a letter Yod to his name. Examine an interlinear at Numbers 13.8 and 13.16, like this one at Bible Hub, and I'll leave the, the link in the description. Um, hypnosis or trigger word programming. <clears throat> Lou was taught by Jesuits for the first 18 years on the pl on planet Earth, but he broke the spell. The programming, trigger words, hypnotizing, because Yahusha had much more to teach him. Going to the schools of men to learn their tra their traditions and excuses for what they do and believe and believe only enforces the false reasoning, casuistry. And an equivocation that keeps people imprisoned. <clears throat> Yahusha came to teach us that his word is the source of truth. With his indwelling, we see his perspective, the mind of his spirit gives us eyesight. We see his perspective, yes, with his guidance in understanding his name and his word. We are set free from the cluster blocks that men built to hold us as their captives. He sets the captives free when we walk in the light of his instructions. We learn how to love him and love one another. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Yahuwah, my rock and my redeemer. Psalm nineteen fourteen. Your pastor never saw this coming. A new book reveals the translations replace the name of the, or the translators replace the name of the creator in the KJV, NIV, NASB, and many others. The pastors teach you from these translations, having no idea whatsoever that their own preface admits these facts. Go talk with them if this means anything to you, because they who teach were also misled by former teachers because of men's traditions. <clears throat> and this is the book I have this book too um, your pastor never saw this coming the translation they all teach from admits the name of, of our creator was replaced with a device show them in the preface of their translation the light of the world is about to return Pharisees walk among us today Yahusha and his Nazarene were in disfavor with the doctrinal controllers, Pharisees, because they uttered the name of Yahuwah. Not much has changed. The Pope outlawed the name in 2008. The added rules of men holding position over others without compassion and thinking of themselves as better than everyone else because a group of men endorsed their doctrines, ordained them to teach, were among the errors Yahusha kept showing to the leaders of the people. They exalted themselves, and their rules superseded Yahusha's Torah. They withheld the key of knowledge, the name of Yahuwah. Today, we see teachers arguing over calendars, and it's causing great division. The week of seven days is the same week we experience today. From Jamaica to Japan, not a single day is missing. When we are looking for, for gnats, we could be swallowing a camel and not realizing it. A day begins at sundown. Islamic teachings declare a day is from morning to morning. There is no practice like this in Yasharal. 
The texts of Yahuwah's word consistently mention a day being from evening to evening. The fast of Yom Kafar is from the ninth day at, at evening to the tenth day at evening. And this fast is described as being observed on the tenth day. Nehemiah or Nehemiah 13:19 says they were too close to, they were to close the gates as the shadows grew long before Shabbat. Fossilizedcustoms.com slash day dot html. And I'll put that in the description. Amana is our steadfast belief and loyalty, which is manifested in our obedience. We hear the word of Yahuwah, believe it and do it. Without doing it, our belief is unfruitful or dead. The origin of this concept is found in the Hebrew word amana, the feminine form of aman, usually seen as amen. Aman aleph mem nun means true or truly. And I'll leave the description for that, for the, um, for the link <clears throat> in the, my description box, sorry. Pagan Christmas, a birthday celebrated for 4,000 years. Merchants plunder the masses through a variety of annual fertility festivals. And Nimrod's birthday celebration is one of them. Adopted by Christianity, the pilgrims tried to run away from it all and made laws to hold back the flood they saw coming towards them. I'll leave the link for that one too. Psalm 1914 says, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Yahuwah my rock and my redeemer. Luke 8.18 shares Yahushua's thoughts with us. Therefore, take heed how you hear. For whoever possesses to him, more shall be given. And whoever does not possess, even what he thinks he possesses will be taken from him. Yahushua was talking about things the teaching authority had kept hidden from the crowds, holding secrets from them especially concerning the name, and it's still going on. We're doing the best we can with what we've been given. 1 Corinthians 4, 7. For who makes you divided? And what do you have that you did not receive? Now, if you did, did indeed receive it, why do you boast as if you had not received it? We've all been blocked from knowledge, but Romans 12 and Daniel 12 will help guide us to behave better toward one another in spite of our differences. The children of the world are wiser than the sons of light in that they treat one another better than we do and don't engage in the kinds of silly arguments over words. The best thing to do is to study and agree to disagree until Yahusha brings us closer to the goal, love. Without love, all knowledge is worthless. Factions, envy, malice, divisions, hatred, anger, dissension, strife, bits of rage, idolatry, sorcery, drunkenness, orgies, and more are trademarks of those who do not yet belong to Yahusha. Social media attracts all sorts, and our mission as Nazarene is not to the lost. Let's be loving and kind to those who do not yet understand, rather than push them away. A house divided. At Acts 23, Paul professed to the council to be a member of the Pharisees because he exploited the division that existed in it. The Sadducees held the real power, but the Pharisees were closer to the people. Paul was raised as a Pharisee, but had become an outsider and a huge threat to their control over doctrines. Although similar in some ways, Yahusha and Paul were not in agreement with many aspects of the Pharisees. The name forbidden to speak. Paul was arrested because he was violating strict orders to never speak Yahushua's name. Now this was after he sacrificed himself for all of our sins, to cover all of our sins. At Acts 4, Peter and Yehuchanan were ordered not to speak or teach in the name of Yahushua. They responded by quoting Psalm 118.22, and the name being the rock the builders rejected. Paul's claim to be a Pharisee was related to his past, according to Philippians 3.5, not so much his present circumstances. Paul taught against divisions, 1 Corinthians 1.10. Yahushua called the Pharisees a brood of vipers. At Matthew 12.34 and 23.33, forbidding the only name given among men by which we must be delivered will have consequences. A papal Bowl 
issued in 2008 forbade the use of the name or bill. Whom will you obey? Tetragrammaton forbidden. Christian pastors teach from translations that remove the name and their own favorite translations admit this in the preface. <clears throat> the truth in love is this. Our deliverer was given a Hebrew name, the same name as, as his father. There is no reason the Sanhedrin would have arrested Peter and, and Yehuchanan, Acts 4, or Paul, Acts 23, for speaking a foreign <coughs> Latinized Greek word. They had forbidden the utterance of the name Yahuwah, yod heh the four letters, Tetragrammaton, which a papal bill in 2008 also ordered never to be pronounced. Psalm 118, 22-26 was referred to by Paul at Acts 4. So there is no mistake about, about this rejected stone, the name. Acts 4.12, Psalms 91.14, 118.26, Yahu or Isaiah 42.8, and many other texts bring the importance of this name to our attention. Yahuwah is Yahusha, our deliverer. As his name means, J-E-S-U-S -S has no meaning, which is why the Yahudim to this day won't receive the fake name. Yahusha is speaking truth through his Nazarene. We're going to end with this this lesson and then um, I'll probably be able to do two or three more lessons from this book. Mm -hmm. um, Yahusha's last Nazarene are here. Before you condemn us, at least listen to what we are saying. The true name was forbidden and I.E. Seuss was substituted for it. J.E.S.U.S. less than 500 years old is a Jesuit alteration of I.E. Seuss taken from the Greek into the Latin Vulgate. 391 to 403 as IESV. This IESV was the form seen in the first publication of the KJV in 1611. The Anglican Catholic translation of the Latin Vulgate. The Latin Vulgate is a corrupted translation from which we inherited the word crux. The Latin word storo was rejected by Eusebius. The Greek was storos. It means stake, an upright pole, as explained thoroughly by the English theologian Ethelbert W. Bollinger, died in 1913. The point is, if men will alter the meaning of words and forbid the name using substitutions in their translations, how guilty will teachers be who know the truth be when we stand before Yahusha? Okay, next time I will be reading the BYNV Project Overview. <clears throat> The name J-E-S-U-S is a false name. Why are they hiding the Hebrew name? Translation and transliteration. What's the difference? Um, Acts 7 explains everything. G-O-D. <clears throat> the Kodesh and Kodesh spelt two different ways. And the Yerak. Um, Hebrew words for moon. What is a month? <clears throat> is something missing? Nimrod's secret identity. Bitterness towards Yahushua's name and word. Idolatry founded by Nimrod, king of Babel. A mark of hate used by Isis. Nazarene, Nazarene, Nasrani, Nazarenes. Sunday origins. Um, Yahuwah does not lie or change. That's probably as far as I'll be able to get that day. And then we'll have one or two more lessons after that. Okay. I love you all. And... Um, I hope Yahuwah gives you all blessing and peace. Shalom.